listening, I want to highlight a few things that I think are really important teaching points, stuff that you did right and stuff that we thought about in building this program is the plan that works long term is the one that addresses all of these everyday life stuff that you're going to encounter. You're going to want to have a free meal or a cheat meal. So you got to have a process for how you do that and you build it into your routine. It's not something that derails you. You're going to probably have an alcoholic drink. You got to know which ones to have. And ideally you build these things into your family's routine so that it's like additive and it gives you more love and family time and connection. So it sounds like you checked all of those boxes using our program tools and that's why I think is, is establish this in such a, a bedrock in your, in your new routine that probably now feels like your new normal. So I'm curious when you started from the beginning of, let's say the $7 trial you had with us, how much weight did you lose getting down to your low before switching and focusing on some muscle building? So I think, um, I, like I said, I started middle of July of 2020, mm -hmm. towards the end of July. And um, now I'm currently on uh, week 12 of, of old school mm -hmm. muscle phase two. So I think I've finished up all three phases of the Fit Father uh, 30X program around January, right? A little bit after um, the, the, the new year. And I, I, my starting weight was 250 pounds, mm -hmm. 0.8. A little over 250, and when right before I started old school muscle, I was right at about 200. So I lost over 50 pounds, a little over 50 pounds in seven um, months. Yes, in seven months. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, a lot of fat loss, and then you were you used the FF30X, which is our fat loss focus program series, to get that weight off. And then I know you hit this kind of inflection point where you're like yeah, I'm, I'm lean, but I want to start to fill out my body and, and work on some strength. So you transition to, um, old school muscle, a strength training program designed for guys 40 plus. So tell us a little bit about what you've been working on since yeah, getting, so, um, right after I finished the phase three of, uh, the fit father, uh, the FF 30 X program, I know you kind of mm -hmm. recommend to maybe go into phase four, uh, which is, um, Kind of those focuses on those busy days or, or the days where you're not so busy and you can kind of incorporate those different earth, wind, fire, mm -hmm. uh, water workouts. And I, I did that, I think, yep. for about a week. Um, and, and those are great. Those mm -hmm. are great um, because, you, you know, you're still doing the meal plan. You're still um, getting some workouts in. You know, you've lost that weight and, and, and that was good. Um, but as I was reading over the, the other plans with the old school muscle, um, I realized, and, and I've not gotten my body fat checked uh, professionally. I, I kind of rely on my, I've got a Renfro, or not a Renfro, Renfro uh, scale uh, that I go off of. And, and I know it's not completely accurate, but I could tell that my body fat percentage was in a range uh, that supported starting the old school muscle uh, program. And so mm -hmm. um, I wanted to start doing that, looking at those workouts and, and, thinking to myself, wow, I'm going to get back in the weight room and, you know, start doing some bench press, start, start doing mm -hmm. some squats and, 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 and things. And, and I think I've mentioned in a couple of my Facebook posts. So, um, I was not uh, a really powerful squat guy <laughs> back in high school. Five. You're six, five. Yeah. That's a it, long it, way to go is. down. And, um, but having said all that, um, those lifts really pushed me. They really challenged me. And, uh, and as I, you know, again, following those guides, using that really handy Excel uh, Google sheet that, that a member provided, which whoever that is, they're awesome. Um, that that has been a key. I cannot stress enough how awesome, how important it is to to keep track, especially if you're going to start the old school muscle program. Um, I, I, I probably didn't yeah. keep as much track of the weights that I was using. And the Apex Gym, the Peak, Peak 11, and the Great Destroyer, and all those assault. Um, probably didn't keep as much track of the weights on that. Uh, but with old school muscle, it's, it's critical um, because you can really yeah. see uh, your progress. You can really know, okay, I need to go up and wait the next, next week um, and, and, you know, change up your exercises, all those good things to keep track of. And then when you go back and see where you started and where you are now, you're like, wow, 
um, if I did not need enough affirmation that this program works to see that I was uh, last week when I was doing squats, I was warming up with the weight that was my max rep the first week I started back in phase one. So oh I was gosh. like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's yeah. Awesome. yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> so a couple of lessons there I just want to tease out here is number one, we recommend as part of our kind of fit father approach that guys get the weight off first because it's a lot easier and your body's a lot more receptive to building muscle once you're at a certain body fat range. That's why we have guys run through this FF30X fat loss program series. You go through as many phases as you need to get there. David, for you, it was pretty much three phases, which totals around six months. So you got the weight off in that time. And then, you know, when you're doing those kinds of metabolic resistance training workouts, these kind of circuit workouts with weights, it's not about how much weight you're lifting, but it's about getting them in and, and getting this high intensity session in and pushing yourself for sure. But they take about, let's just say 45 minutes you're using a pair of dumbbells or kettlebells at home, which is great. But then when it comes to muscle building, it's all about the tracking. It's a deliberate training program with smart motions that feel good on your joints. And then you track your weights and your progress. And we have amazing guys in our brotherhood that created these fancy Excel trackers, which Dave is referring to, you know, you put in your starting weights and, and it helps you track your progress all throughout there. So you're obviously getting tremendously stronger. I mean, to be using the weight that was your max when you began, and now you're probably, I guess, probably four, four plus months into dedicated strength training, maybe a little bit more at this point. And now you're uh, so much stronger. So what's next for you in your physical journey? Um, in terms of just your training and maybe some of your goals with your body, now that you are on the path of being at a great weight and building muscle, what's next for you? Well, um, you know, it's a great question because, you know, we're, we're I'm almost to my one year anniversary of being a uh, Fit Father for Life member, and and so we we are. Um, I mentioned this. My family's getting ready to go on a big RV trip out west uh, that we're looking uh, forward to, and you know. Now, for me, uh, when I get away from home, I get a little nervous with, with meals um, and, and also working mm -hmm. out, um, you know, balancing that. And, and, and one thing I, I probably didn't mention that uh, a big part of my success is the planning, uh, meal planning, knowing the days I'm going to be busy, knowing that, okay, I need, to, I need to, to make time, you know, on the weekend to get some meals prepped because, you know, this particular day during the week, there's not going to be any time. And so, you know, we've been mm -hmm. talking about that. Um, fortunately, timing for me, I'll be um, next week. I'm going to do a deload week uh, for the end of phase two mm -hmm. for old school muscle. And I had thought about uh, going into phase three, but since I'm, we're going to be on the road, um, fortunately for me, and the great thing about going through all those phases of the Fit Father program is that you learn all those different workouts and you can use them whenever you want. So um, I, I'm yeah. going to, I'm probably going to take a set of dumbbells with me. So if you see me out in the a Walmart yeah. parking lot out in St. Louis somewhere, nice. um, because nice. you can do them anywhere. And um, so I, I'm planning to do a, a kind of a leaning up phase um, for probably yeah. for the biggest part of uh, July and maybe going to towards the end of the summer. And then uh, planning to get, uh, go back into, uh, Probably going to start uh, old school muscle phase three um, because I, nice. I know those workouts are a little bit different. They're they're similar to phase two, but I think they're more um, focused. You know, I think you're doing four more days focused. a week, I believe. And yeah. and uh, you know I've heard some some of the brothers in the in the brotherhood group have talked about um, phase three and how much they enjoy it. So obviously that's making me want to do that next once I finish out right. the summer. Yeah.